They're in the infantry blue, NC State in the home white uniforms. It'll be one of the transfers, Mohamed Diaro tips it up and wins the mistimed tips. Getting back to that, one of the reasons he wanted to come to NC State's style of play, and he knew that there were a lot of shots to be had and a lot of points that needed to be replacing, and he'd like to do some of it. Yeah, they're going to need some guys to fill that void, uh, especially taking guys off the bounce. That's one of the things that I'm interested in seeing is that one of those that, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing, especially in their exhibition. Got some good minutes as a freshman, you know, talking with Coach. O'Connell was able to save us on that. It was, it was a rough little stretch, but, you know, we broke the ice now. I don't think anybody's made more threes in this building than you as Durr makes the turnaround. Good player, in control, kind of backs him down a little bit and creates space with a fadeaway. Really good player. I like his game. Burns. Boy, he is such a unique player. Their highlights, and yes, there's a few of them. He told me he can score from all three levels. Marcel. Tough drive, lost it on the way up. Wanted a foul, didn't get it. Smith, tough finish and one. One of the first times we've been able to see the Citadel get out in transition. Push pace, and the turnover allows that. I think they're just trying to get a feel for each other. I think both coaches mentioned they want to get substitutions early. I really like his game. He's not going to make a lot of mistakes. I think that's one of the things that they need. A good floor general and a great pass from DJ Steele with the top. <laughs> NC State starting to get out in transition and create some havoc. Not every day you get to see the big fella throw a dime like this. In between two guys to Jaden Taylor, Taylor running and finishing on the other end. Three ball, baked in. Keenan Davis, the freshman. He remembers this one in, in 10 years or so. I mean, right off the corner of the... Morgan, tough pull up. Laura Brown at the horn, got it to go. High note. But NC State up nine at the half. Parker has his pocket picked by Morgan. Laura Brown, high arc game three. One of the things that the Citadel's doing a little bit more is they're being a little bit more aggressive defensively, defensively and it's resulting in them being able to push and get some good shots on the offensive end. The coach wants to see, he wants to see them play, you know, against ACC schools and really kind of find out what they're about. Great ball movement from NC State. Burns to Horn to O'Connell. There is the double-double on the feed from DJ Burns. Well, and obviously, I, I'm seeing him in practice, he just plays so hard. He does everything the right way. And again, I think because this guy right here is going to get so much attention. DJ Horn off the ball screen, hesitation. It's just two for 11 tonight, but Middlebrooks. Yeah, both Horn and Morsell struggling offensively. Durr had it taken away. Turn you over. Gotta love it when you see a shooter on the rim. NC State debut, he now has eight points. It's a big transition for him. Remember, he's from Indy. As Hill throws down the flush. He's from Indy and played at Butler. Winston it's some Hill. good passing. Winston Hill just does a good job sealing inside. Big to big, post to post, you bet. Not, every, not very often you see a... Moore kicks out, three ball, McAllister, no. Coach Conroy playing some of his freshmen here down the stretch. Moore sell, that's what he can do in transition. KYP, know your personnel. Knock down three-point shooter from the left wing, get it to him early. Shot clock off. Good nice pass. pass. Carpio with the flush on the dish by Levi Burkholz. 
So the Bulldogs end it on a high note. Thomas will dribble it out, and NC State 1-0 in this new year as they take it 72-59.